Hey, what's going on Salt Strong Nation? Richard here, and today I got a quick review on a rod that I've been using a lot, and that is gonna be the Fitzgerald Aqua Dream Series. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the Fitzgerald Aqua Dream Series is actually a custom rod build, and the one that I've been using here is gonna be the seven foot two medium. And it's also got kind of a moderate fast action. So one of the first things that I do wanna talk about this is gonna be the quality and attention to detail on this rod. The guys on this rod are in great quality and also the reel seats very well on this rod for a very solid fit. And I do have this paired up with the Daiwa BGMQ 2500, which is about the perfect weight distribution for this rod. And you can pick up one of those as well on our shop page just at fishstrong.com. This rod is actually one of the lightest rods I own and it's extremely easy to cast and I have no problem using this rod all day long for even hundreds of casts. And one of the very unique things about this rod is that it has a microwave guide. So I have never really thought about them too much and can't really say if they increase your casting distance too much. But one of the things that I have really been surprised with and noticed is the lack of wind knots. I really feel like this microwave guide kind of decreases a lot of that flare that you get when you cast normally. And it keeps a tighter loop when it goes through those guides, which is really helping when you're casting in windy conditions and things like that where normally you might get a wind knot. So let's go ahead and get into the action and then the blank of this rod and really what it's designed for. So guys, this rod here has more of a moderate fast action, which you can see I can bend this right here. It's got quite a bit of load in the front half of the rod, uh, which isn't always a bad thing. That's really, really good for throwing, you know, some lighter lures and things like that. But it's also really good as well when you're fishing and you're closer to a boat and you have a fish such as a trout or even a bigger red that's doing a lot of head shape right at the boat and you're having a high stick, this softer tip has really helped out a lot with landing more fish, especially when you're fishing by yourself and you can't always have somebody with a net and you've got to get a little bit closer to the boat. This tip is really acting kind of like a shock absorber for a lot of those head shakes and things like that. Now, the blank on this rod, however, is still very sturdy, and it's got a pretty good section on it here where you can, if you need to, put the hammer down on a bigger fish and be able to turn its head. Now, I've been able to catch a lot of bigger upper slot fish here lately on this rod, and I've had really no issue doing it. Um, if you really need to put some pressure on a fish with this rod, it can still handle it. And like I said, this rod does handle smaller lures and lighter jig heads extremely well and can allow you to cast very far. Now, with that being said, actually this rod does throw some larger profile baits great as well. So whether you know it's a big paddle tail such as the bomber uh, or even a smaller lure with like a heavier jig head such as a quarter ounce, this rod can handle it and throw it very well. And guys, after really using this rod, I can honestly say it does give you kind of the best of both worlds. So when it comes to casting distance and accuracy, because for the type of fishing I do, I'm usually having to settle with more of that seven foot series rod. Uh, that's due to making you know shorter and more accurate casts in tight spaces. However, the problem that I've kind of run into is when I need to make a big move out to a bay or an open flat, the problem that I have is I don't have a rod that gives me the performance of a seven six to really get that distance distance on a cast that I need. However, this Fitzgerald Aqua Dream 7.2 does give you the accuracy that you need and maneuverability, more of that seven foot class of a rod, but then you can still get the performance and casting distance like you would normally for a 7.6. So in review, guys, if you can tell, I do really, really like this rod and it's quickly become one of my favorites because really it kind of checks all the boxes that I need for an inshore fishing rod. If I need to go into tighter creeks and I need the maneuverability of a seven foot rod, or if I need to go out to big open bays and I need some more performance, something like you typically get in that seven six, I can do it with this rod. And then lastly, if I do hook up with a bigger fish, I know I've got the confidence to put a little bit more pressure on that fish with this rod and I can still get them in quickly. So hopefully this review was helpful and I'm glad I was able to share my thoughts and experience with you on this rod. It's definitely been a game changer for me. And remember, if you wanna pick up one of these custom rods, we still have some available at our shop page at fiststrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it and we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, 
the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.